welcome friends. I have an order from one of my favorite stores, Sephora, to share with you guys. Uh, but before we do that, I should introduce myself. My name is Meredith and I do all kinds of unboxings here on my channel and I also do some hauls as well. So be sure to subscribe and stick around if that sounds like a good time to you. And we also do lipstick of the day. The one today is from Charlotte Tilbury. It is in the shade Very Victoria. I wanted to pick a lipstick that is sold at Sephora. So, you know, just to keep the continuity of the theme of the video. So this is what it looks like. It is her Matte Revolution lipstick. It's the one that I'm wearing. I love the shade. And I feel like it's a really pretty nude for going into the fall season. I realize you summer people are like, whoa, 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 don't even start that yet. But I'm just saying it would be good for a fall. <laughs> All right. So I just ordered a couple of things. But of course I had like points and you get your little sample packs. And then there was a coupon code for if you spent $25 or $35 you got uh, whatever. So a bunch of different little things to share with you guys. And then I also ordered one other thing online that I feel like is in the beauty realm. So I thought I would share that with you. So this is not sponsored by that company or anything like that. But it is, um, of course, put my, I put the post, the stamp right on top of the, the uh, product label. But this is Vegamore. And it's a hair growth serum. So this is what the inside of the box looks like. Um, there is This is their Grow Hair Serum. It's a one fluid ounce. It's clinically proven, 100% vegan, cruelty free, no toxins or hormones. So I'm gonna try this out. You put it on your scalp. Um, I believe it's once daily. Let me just double check that. But it has glycerin and caffeine, turmeric, um, bergamot, clover seed oil so we'll see i don't know if it will work or not supposedly it's amazing or at least that's what i've heard um and there is another hair growth serum that one of you guys told me about so if this does not work i'll be trying that next so it says you're supposed to apply one to two drops let me turn it around here so you can see it uh directly onto your scalp in each section and massage into scalp it's a leave-on product and you can style your hair normally and then you apply once daily for three to four months for visible results and then of course you have to continue to use it to maintain that so i'll let you know i think the packaging is on point pretty gold cap uh i do believe it's a glass bottle so that's good um but yeah just as a little dropper i'll try it out let me know if you have used it or if you have had success with any other products okay so the two things that i purchased are surprisingly or not depending on if you follow me or not uh both from tarte i feel like they do tinted moisturizers tinted hydrators extremely well and i'm almost completely out of my tinted hydrator that i've been using and when i was looking on sephora's website i noticed that they actually had my shade in the tinted moisturizer i used to use all the time and they had been out for a very long time so i was super thrilled so i actually grabbed both I don't know why I felt the need to do that, but I did um, because they do have definitely different levels of coverage. Now the tinted Maracuja tinted hydrator uh, is the lighter of the two, I would say, in my personal opinion. This is your skin with just a hint of uh, evening of your skin tone. It does not have a ton of coverage. So if you're looking for more coverage, you might want to move up a level um but this one is number 13 b which is fair light beige i have been using the fair light neutral which is uh 13 n however that was out of stock um so at least in the full size so i went ahead and try i'm gonna try this one i think that um i think my skin can handle that i'm definitely more neutral to maybe even just slightly cool toned as far as my skin tone goes uh, but not my hair and my eye color so you know whatever we'll see so I'm gonna try that out but I just finished up the um, like half size of this product in the fair light neutral and I liked it a lot and it was a good I'm actually wearing it today I was like banging the bottle to get the very last little bit so that's actually what I used on my face today and uh, I feel like it worked really well and then I dabbed a little bit of foundation that I really should toss out because it's old uh, and that's the Wander Beauty Foundation, and I'll just tap that over any spots where I feel like I want just a little more coverage, like maybe I'm a little more red right here around my nose, that kind of thing. And then they also finally had it in stock, and it might have been for a while, I don't even know. This is the Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. 
and it has broad spectrum SPF 20, which I really love that it just has the built-in sunscreen in it. And I don't believe that the tinted hydrator claims that at all, which is unfortunate, but there you are. So this one definitely has a little bit, I wouldn't say full coverage, but I would say I, I can get, I would say medium coverage out of this very nicely. And the best part is it does not feel like you have foundation sitting on your face. It just, uh, just really evens out your skin tone and will cover or blend, um, light blemishes or light redness. So I'm super happy to have this back in my life. I know it's something lame to get excited about, but I do. And chances are you do too if you're watching a Sephora unboxing. So welcome friends, you are in good company. And then let's go ahead and go over some of the sample style products. So I believe that this was the thing that you got if you spend 25 or $35. And this is the Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. It's supposed to soothe, hydrate, visibly boost fullness. And I have to say, I have had Laneige, uh, like the lip sleeping mask. I think it's the overnight one. Um, and I got a little sample pot in, I think a Sephora like favorites kit or something. And that thing lasts forever. Like I haven't even used it up and I'm pretty sure it needs to go at this point. So I'm guessing I will get a ton of use out of this. Now I normally just will go like this and like dab it on my lips until it gets down too far. Now this one's not um, all the way up to the top, so I will actually have to stick a finger in there. It does have a light, fruity, sort of tropical, like pina colada, coconut, pineapple sort of scent to it. So it smells really good. It smells yummy. I will totally use that. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and stick a finger in there. Oh yeah. So it's just a light, clear balm. Let's tap that right over top of the lipstick I already have on. But yeah, I'm happy to have this. It's going to go right by my bedside table and I will totally use it. Next up, this was I think the thing I got with points. This is the Amore Pacific, which I have used before and really enjoyed. The Time Response Skin Reserve Cream. Now, I know that Amore Pacific is a pricey brand. I kind of like their packaging. It's a little bit funky but um, I am digging it. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that, this is how it opens up. Don't mind the singing in the background. It does have a light sort of fragrance to it, like a perfumed fragrance, not a, it happens to be in that product because there's X, Y, Z in it as an ingredient. It smells nice and light. Let's go ahead and try a little bit. Oh, it's, wow, it's okay. It's very thick. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but it's almost balmy. Don't mind the singing in the background of my three-year-old. Yeah, I like the smell of that a lot, actually. And I like how thick it is. That is going to be great. I'm going to save this for fall when it gets to the point where my skin just all of a sudden is just drier and tighter because, you know, you put on the heat and, um, and everything just gets dried out. And my skin will be very happy, but I'm excited. It smells good, and I like the very thick consistency of it, so points for gold packaging that's cute so the last two items are just these little foil packs this is the pharmacy filling good hyaluronic acid plumping serum I love hyaluronic acid have any of you guys used this pharmacy one um, I have tried uh, several of their products in the past and I really enjoyed them so I'm guessing I will like this one a lot and then the other one is from Orbe, which is a very expensive hair care line, kind of in the same price range as like Kerastase and Chumora, those types of brands. Um, and this is their signature shampoo, a daily indulgence, and their signature conditioner as well. So I'll totally throw this in my travel bag. There's a good amount of product in here, so I'm guessing that I probably could get two uses out of each of these packs. So this would be great if, you know, like you're... I don't know, I'm gonna stay at someone's house for two nights or whatever. But uh, yeah, these are great. Um, I have used a few Orbe products, just samples in the past, and I've liked them. So that is everything that came in my Sephora order. Are you surprised I didn't buy a lipstick? I kinda am. I had some in my cart, and then the last minute I was like, no, no, behave yourself. You don't need any more lipstick. 
occasionally I have self-control. It doesn't happen often. But anyways, until next time, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Um, I will pop up some fun videos here on the end screen for you guys to check out. And until next time, talk to you soon.